Assalamu alaikum, Mama. I'm performing it at Charlie's tonight. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. That is so exciting. Good for you. I've always wanted to see my son perform it on Charlie's. Oh, Mama, I'm on a flight, and I think I see the flight attendant coming. I'll, I'm going to go now, okay? With Hafiz, talk to you later, inshallah. Bye. I'm sorry, sir. You have to leave the plane. You were speaking Arabian, and it made some of the passengers feel uncomfortable. What? I was speaking a few words in Arabic, but that doesn't mean... I'm sorry, sir. You just have to leave. But I... Captain's orders, sir. There's no way around it. You have to leave right... But what? No, but... Ah! Hi, I'm Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. I am a South Asian artist uh, of mixed Pakistani and Lebanese heritage. Um, and I work in a queer subject matter. Like doing a performance on being a queer Muslim in the Castro in San Francisco, like, so hard. Like, who listens? They don't care. Like, we have to be honest. They don't care. They don't know. They're not interested. Um, but when you make it funny, they actually reflect on their own ideas. And then you start citing stereotypes. I am a Muslim that was kicked off a plane. But you do it in a way that like, oh, I know that story. Oh, wait, he is a Muslim. Oh, shit. He's a queer Muslim. And he's doing drag in this bar. You know, and it kind of, it brings people in. You're seducing your audience. So going from Pakistan, where there's this idea of like, and a lot of nations have built this, especially ones that are ethnically formed, you know, it happens in India, it happens in Pakistan, but the strong Muslim, the strong Sikh, the strong Hindu, the strong Jew in the case of Israel, the strong Arab, you know, and it goes, the list goes on. Like there is this stereotype that the representative of the nation is a strong man. I mean, it's ridiculous. This idea of strength, you know, this idea of muscularity. What for me, is masculinity. It's softness. It can be effeminate. It can be gentle. So I find this book that was written by Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it was a translation. It was translated into Urdu, but it still had the original images of these models that Arnold Schwarzenegger brought in, that sometimes he's touching, that sometimes he's talking to. So I sort of cut out parts of their body and then replace them with flowery textiles. Replacing the sort of hard muscle with something very soft. You know, and highlighting certain words, again going with this idea of translation. The words that are highlighted, the words are let jai, which means lie down, or jism ke upar, so on top of the body. So kind of bringing in a cheeky reference, sort of like trying to say like, well, this is, this is pretty homoerotic. I think history for me is in layers. History is not a, is on a timeline, it's not linear, it's not in chronology, it's actually layered. You know, the, the, what exists today is constructed on the bones of what happened before. Even the Muslim and Muslim men series is archive, it's history. And I use a lot of layers, so even when I do quilting or embroidery or fabric collage or, or when I do my own videos or when I do sound bites, it's all about layering. I guess this, the string that holds the pearls together is very much history. It's very much how we identify. You know, and I think, so growing up from a kid, even though I lived a very peaceful life, one of the things that always came into it was that violence existed everywhere. And my father was killed when I was six years old, outside our home, in Karachi. Um, he was assassinated. My... Um, grandfather was also killed, my aunt was also killed, my uncle was also killed, all assassinated. So what are our identities, how are our identities formed? Through violence, um, through, through force. Um, you know, we, we as Pakistanis identify as Pakistanis because there was violence incurred to us by another group of people, India. Indians identify as Indians because there was violence incurred to them by another group of people, Pakistanis, Muslims, Hindus. All of these identities are strengthened through war and through loss and through bloodshed. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown 
of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. So my performance was that I got up on a, on a, on a soapbox or a fruit crate, whatever, um, and I had a loudspeaker and I recited a poem called Muslim's Burden. In this poem, I spoke about why, why is being a Muslim such a political issue? It's not me. It's you, the white man. You have, you have called me out. I am not a Muslim because I pray five times a day. I'm not a Muslim because I grow my beard. I'm not a Muslim um, because etc, etc, etc. I'm a Muslim because the white man tells me so. And a lot of South Asians, a lot of people who have grown up with mixed lineage are in a third space. It's the liminal space, the space of transition, of translation, that that in itself is a space worth existing in. It wasn't uncommon to have dal and hummus on the same table. Like, that's what we did. And so we're, we exist in third cultures, you know, we don't exist in one or the other, we exist in one that we have to make and adjust to ourselves. Um, and I think that's part of being queer, is that, that DIY aesthetic, making your own space. We are super grateful to have uh, this artist art here. It was the first one we chose for 2017, and we're just really, really proud that we have his art up on our walls. Every, please give a big round of applause to Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. Thank you all for coming tonight. This wonderful queer community, this beautiful queer community, this beautiful queer community of color, has given me a lot of support over the years. And I really want to see more faces of color in the Castro. I want to see more... I want to see more artists of color take over these streets. I want to see more artists of color in Oakland, in Berkeley, in San Francisco. In fact, take over the whole fucking world.